Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Let's Play Minecraft series for Snapshot 1.116. Oh yes, that's right, your boy is excited. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute though. So before we get into today's episode, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. Question of the day for today with the new snapshots coming out. You see all the new nether stuff. What is your favorite new feature in Minecraft that has to do with the nether? me personally i absolutely love those biomes oh my god guys i haven't felt this way about minecraft in a very long time so let me know down in the comment section below if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button and subscribe turn on notifications when the videos come out so i um am on the new snapshot we are on snapshot 20w 16a which is the first snapshot for the 1.16 updates and I couldn't help myself. I know this is a 1-5 playthrough, but guys, come on, seriously. So what I have done is I have reset the nether, uh, deleting my dim slash one file. So let's see what happens. See if we can actually get some new generation. Um, okay. So it does, I don't think, I don't know if this is the same. I don't think this was the same spawn that we had before. It definitely could be very close to it. Anyways, um, so I am looking for some of the newer biomes. So if you look at a quick F3, if you look down where it says difficulty and local difficulty and then biome, this is nether wastes. So nether waste is the old school biome that the nether was in. You squishy you nether sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to do today is I want to look around. Oh, okay, we already found the first. There's some piglins. Look at them. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. Look at all of this goodness. Okay, so we have so much new stuff here. We've got the crimson roots. We've got crimson grass. So let's mine that. That's like netherrack mining pretty much. Um, am I using silk touch? I'm using fortune. Okay, so we have the crimson nylon. That's really cool. Now, I wonder if that stuff spreads. Then this is like the wood. Oh, this is so freaking cool. So there's a lot of new items in the game. These guys, how? I'm gonna let him hit me. It doesn't attack you. I'm on normal. I'm on hard. Interesting. They're really slow. Maybe it's just that guy. Let's kill another one. Oh, crap. I fell. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see if I can get through here. Anyways, let's fly around for a second. I should mark my coordinates real fast. Um, <clears throat> I love these biomes, though. The biomes are so freaking cool. You can also get tons of bone meal. Oh, we have a uh, warped forest over here, too. Wow, look at all the blue. That's so freaking cool. So, oh, we actually have three different biomes in one spot here. So we've got the warped forest over here. Then we have the soul sand valley. This is new basalt. Let's mine some of this so we can take a look at that. So there's the basalt. I don't think this has much use yet. Unless I don't think you can smelt it yet either. Um, there's also tons of bone blocks now and these lights. Grab these real fast. There we go. So we have the uh, shroom light. Very, very cool. There's just so much fun stuff to explore. I am very, very excited. Um, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. One of the things that I really wanna try and find is some of that netherite. And to get some of that netherite ingots, you have to find ancient debris. Ancient debris is like the hardest stuff on the planet to find. Literally one in three spawn every few chunks, uh, one to three vein. And it's between like level 13 and 24, and it's excruciatingly hard to find. Um, so I think I want to start today's episode off by doing a little bit of nether science and seeing if my different types of mining patterns will help us find it faster. Now, I'm getting the level 13 off the wiki. That could be wrong, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit. So let me get set up for it, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm down at level 13. Again, this is just hearsay off of the wiki page that said 13 was the best level to mine at. So I brought some things with me here. Let me clear just a little bit of an area out. So we're going to try three different methods and trying to find the ancient ores uh, as best as possible here so i've brought some fire resist potions and four pickaxes and i'm gonna these are gonna just be my mining pickaxes i think some of them are silk touch and fortunate doesn't really matter 
So on one side, which I think will be the left side. So left side, we're going to designate as a straight line mine. I'm going to mine straights. And if I see any kind of caves, I'll check it out. On the right side, I am going to do branch mining and I'll do probably every two blocks, two to three tall. So one, two, and then over. And then front, I'll probably go 10 to 15 blocks forward. Probably should take that potion now. Um, let me take this real fast. There we go. All right, I gotta get rid of this. I might have to move this part over. Um, but no, what, basically on this next part, since we can speed mine down here, that's what I'm gonna try to do. But I may have to go the other direction, it looks like. Okay. So I'm, I am genuinely, genuinely curious how this is gonna work out. Let's just mine for a little bit and see if we can find anything. You gotta be a little bit careful in the nether. Uh, so these ores are really, really rare. In the probably 35 minutes or so that I looked in the uh, over, or not overworld, but in my videos earlier today, I only found two. And so that kind of kind of tells you just like how rare it actually is. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So we'll do the uh, speed mining this way.
Okay, guys, let's talk results about what we have gotten from our mining. So first and foremost, I decided to do two different layers of mine. I decided to do one at level 13, and I decided to do one at level 17. Now, 17 was definitely not as good as 13. I am lost right now trying to find my way out of here. I did find some of the ore up here, but I found so much more on level 13. So let's go ahead and show you that. So uh, in total, let's see. I know there, I thought there was one over here. Okay, so we'll mine these first. So these things are actually kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't say they're super rare, but I would say that they're the equivalent of a diamond in the nether almost. That's probably what I would call it. Um, so let's see, what else do we got? So I know there's some over here. Um, I think we found about 20 total, maybe. I don't know. But you got to remember, though, I really mined quite a bit of blocks, guys. I mined probably, I would say around 20K. No, 15K total blocks, I would give uh, that number. And so let's see. There's six. And then that's seven, eight. So you got to remember that not it's not one to one ratio for these blocks, but it's actually four to one. So although we have eight, technically, we really only have two. So there's 10 there. Uh, so there was some upstairs too. I'll show you that up there really quickly, but uh, it came very apparent very quickly that speed mining was going to be our best bet because I tried straight line mining, didn't find anything in the straight line mining. And then when I did the strip mines, the like branching mines, I found a bit more and I am still totally lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I came from. Um, up, up here, it can't be that way because that's all blocked off. Let's go back down. Um, but uh yeah so uh was it over here might have been over here i don't see it hmm. all right after finally finding my area here on the top floor which is level 17 i found looks like one one two okay so 10 downstairs two upstairs so far there i think there was one more block up here somewhere i think it was actually in the ceiling somewhere though but since i mine too high you definitely want to mine at least three high if you can it makes things a lot easier might be okay so it's not over here i know there is one in the ceiling somewhere pretty sure i just threw a pickaxe down check over here real fast um i did so pretty much so much there it is i did so much mining they were hard to find so it looks like there's only one there okay so let's see 10 downstairs and then uh two or ten or three upstairs and then we had the um the branch mine so let me show you the branch mine really fast. I think I found maybe four or five in the branch mine. There really wasn't that much, but it was so much easier just to speed mine to try to find these. So I would I would highly, highly recommend that. So if you go out here and then go down this way, um, probably won't be able to see it, but wow, there was a lot of lava, <laughs> a lot of lava. I'm assuming it's probably this one because there was only two more rows. So if we go down this way, I really didn't find a lot in these ones either, though. So total was, I would say, probably 15 to 16. So we'll have like maybe four ingots, five ingots. Hopefully we can get at least enough to make full set of tools out of these. So there's one there. And then if we go down and around, I think there was one more. Um, oh, here it is. This is right here. Grab this one. Grab this one. So we have 16 total pieces uh not too bad to be honest with you so that'll go into four tools that'll make four four scrap which means something is not going to get what we need i may end up trying to find um actually you know what i think the other tools they require i'm, I'm going to probably just change my pickaxes over i think because they have better durability so let's head back to the overworld guys okay guys i have smelted our netherite scrap I'm very excited about this. Let's take a look at the crafting table. Nothing is available yet. Okay, so um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get some gold and then we need to make our netherite ingots. So with all of what we found, we have four of these ingots. So the thing that I think is gonna be a problem. Uh, yeah, so uh, we are gonna lose our enchantments. And that really sucks because we're either gonna have to use book enchantments because I don't think table enchants will be very effective. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a new diamond pickaxe. So you, and I'll take 
you there we go okay so new diamond oh darn it new new diamond pickaxe on the board there we go make you and then make you so this is our first netherite tool now um hmm let's i don't, I don't think i want to just direct enchant it though let me grab some of this real fast and just see what the enchant's gonna be like I may end up having to get books for this. So in there, in there, unbreaking three efficiency. All right, so I'm assuming that I can do books if I need to. We'll see, what do I have? Quick charge, sharpness, fortune, efficiency four would be good. Feather falling, feather falling, power, fire aspect, depth strider. Okay, so we can do books, I'm assuming as well. If it, if it, if it comes down to books, that's not a big deal. Okay. So efficiency four, let's go ahead and enchant this pickaxe with efficiency four and just do a little bit of mining real fast. Um, I don't think this thing has much more mining speed than a diamond pickaxe does. Uh, one point, oh, attack speed. Uh, is that, that's not mining speed, is it? No, that's attack speed. I guess that would te technically be the same thing, but, oh, iron golem spawning everywhere. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a test here. I've got my efficiency five diamond pickaxe. It's pretty much instant mine with that. Now let's test it with this one. Okay, so it definitely, definitely has that, that slower feel to it. Uh, in terms of durability, these have 2031 durability. My diamond pickaxe has 15. So this has over 500 more durability. Plus it just looks like really cool. <laughs> So, um, I'm assuming that we can make some other tools if we wanted to. I think that um, the only other thing that we could do is either a new pickaxe. So, it takes pretty much one ingot and then one of the tool that you're looking for. So, say I want a sword and then I want another pickaxe. Um, let me get some more wood real fast. There we go. There we go. Okay, so another pickaxe and then a diamond sword because I can't use my own enchants. Now, the only other thing that I would be curious about over here, just go ahead and repair that. So I know the other one was a full uh, full repair, but just want to be 100% certain that I can't do this. So I can do that, but again, it just clears all the enchants. So we're not going to waste those. So we'll make a sword. While the sword has eight attack damage, our uh, gung-ho sharpness, Looting sword here has 10. That's a crazy base damage, one more than normal. And then let's go ahead and make a one of these. Now we've only got the one ingot left. I think, I don't, so again, again, I don't think we can use our previous enchants on these. So put that right there. And then can I do that? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So plus three armor toughness, three armor and one knockback. This has two armor toughness and two armor. So it's got a bit more to it, that's for sure. Um, where, where did it go? Oh, I didn't craft it, okay. So put that there. So it's got that, uh, that knockback resistance. And that's, that's crazy to think, right? So plus two armor toughness, plus three armor. Uh, so it's even got more armor too. We, de we are definitely gonna have to get more of this and play around with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get these enchanted with just my normal enchant setups. I'll probably just have to do regular enchants on the table, but I'll be back. All right, guys, I just got back from the nether and I went and collected quite a few of the new blocks. Now, I wanna do a little bit of uh, science with these blocks and just kind of learn how they work almost. I'm looking for bone meal, <laughs> which apparently I don't have a lot of. Three, two, one, cut here. All right, guys, I just got back from the nether and I went and collected a bunch of new blocks. Kind of want to mess around with these and just see how they work and see if they spread bone meal, anything like that. One of my all time favorites that I've noticed so far is these uh, grass like warped nylon blocks. These things are amazing. One thing I am genuinely curious about is I'm interested to see if not, if they're going to uh, spread, right? Like, let's see if we can even bone meal them. So first off, 
Oh, wow. So you can, you can, okay. Well, let me break this down. What about the other side then? Let me put a block here and so I can bone meal that. Interesting. So it seems like it's whatever the block is connected to, or it could just be completely random. So you definitely can't bone meal that, but you can bone meal it if it's next to it. Okay. So I've also got these fungi. Um, these can be planted on either one. Can they be planted on grass? They can. Okay. What about this one? Same thing. Can I bone meal these? Let me open, put this in an open area. Okay. Let's see if we can bone meal this sucker and what it makes. So it's definitely bone mealable. Doesn't seem like it does too much. It may need a certain type of light level, maybe. Okay. So I'm assuming that would probably need a lower light level. So these weeping vines, these grow downward, right? So let's that right there. Can I, so I can place that on the bottom. Interesting. Hold on. Let me, um, let me see if I have any more bone meal. Check in our bone chest here. Plenty of bone meal. Fantastic. Um, so let's see. Can I bone meal the fungi? There we go. I had bone blocks in my inventory the whole time. Fantastic. So can't bone meal those. Okay. But we've also got all of these wood blocks here too. These can be made into stripped as well. Pretty cool crimsonish purple block. What I'm more interested in though is these roots here. The roots can be placed on any surface, it seems like. They can't be bone mealed, so I'm assuming the other ones can't be bone mealed either. All right, that's really cool. So I think what I want to do now, uh, I'm going to go... Oh, by the way, these are the basalt blocks. I'm going to go up like 20 blocks and make a pretty big platform here. I want to see if I can bone meal that block to grow. I also like that this block has a direction to it. Wow, that's really fast. <laughs> I like the new placing sounds. Okay. I just want to, I don't know if this is going to be tall enough or not, but I just want to make it to where it's at least dark enough to grow. Hopefully if anything, I guess we could wait till nighttime too. But so these, I really like these blocks and this pickaxe is insanely fast. My goodness. Okay. So get rid of that. Get rid of this. Hopefully that will be tall enough to grow this and dark enough. So let's try it again real fast. We'll try the warped one first. If anything, I guess we could just go back to the nether and try it too, but I want to try it in the overworld first. Okay, so I cannot get that to grow here. Let's try to get it to grow in the nether then. The nether, our nether, new nether portals, fairly sketchy, so we got to be a little bit careful here. Let's try like the right. What we'll do is we'll go down this way because this is how we got out. Nope, that's not the right way. Sorry, right way is over this way. <laughs> that that noise is insanely sound funny sounding okay so let's see what we can and can't grow here so we'll put this blue one down first okay so it grows the trees with the glowstone wow that's that's a renewable glowstone source then interesting interesting okay so does this tree decay i doubt it does but we'll test it anyways just to be 100 percent certain Oh, they're really tall too. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get rid of all this real fast. We'll just watch that for a second. Doesn't look like it has glowstone with it all the time. Okay, so can I bone meal the grass? Can't bone meal these. Can't bone meal those, but I should be able to collect these. Okay, seems fair. Seems fair. Doesn't look like that's going to decay at all. Interesting. Okay, so can I bone meal? Yeah, you can... Ah, oh, that's really cool, man. So, well, it, I guess it just kind of favors what the block is then. Interesting. I wonder how it chooses. Oh, it seems like it's kind of random. So it's got to be at least touching it then. Interesting. All right. So, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. If you have any input on this new, the new blocks and everything, I would love to hear it. Doesn't seem like, oh, you know, I guess it has to be touching then, unless I'm in a different biome. Another wastes, another f crimson forest. So let's see if I can find um, over a little bit further. I'm trying to find a, the like the edge of the biome. 
So like another waste forest. So yeah, it has to be inside of that biome for it to grow. Interesting. So guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.